what do you feel the overall impact has been? Uh, what are some signs of the overall impact so far regarding the pandemic? Like, how do you think it's affected us and in what ways? And um, is there a solution or is there a way to, to alleviate certain, certain uh, things that we're going through? Yeah. Um, hello, everybody, and thanks so much for having me here. It's exciting. Um, so, so yeah, I think the pandemic has had a lot of mental health uh, consequences. And in a way, it's normal, right? When we go through difficult circumstances, stress happens. And that's a normal reaction to difficulties. We all encounter stress. We all have to have some anxiety. And to a certain degree, it's normal. Um, and the big part that causes that is uncertainty. And this has been a huge time of uncertainty, right? So a lot of the information comes every day. Now is the vaccine. And that lack of understanding really makes us uh, feel stress. And when the stress, be the stress becomes um, like a more difficult to manage, what our brain does is that it makes us sort of uh, imagine kind of the worst outcome. So we catastrophize. So we start like making this like sort of snowball effect of all the bad things that could happen. And that builds into the stress. And that's when things become problematic. And that's when depression and anxiety disorders can happen and, and become um, like a difficult part of our life, um, preventing us from completing our daily tasks. Um, and as an, an additional thing that happens with kind of the stress and the anxiety that comes with the, that uncertainty um, is physical symptoms, right? We start having maybe muscle aches, headaches, difficulty with sleep, and all of that kind of comes sort of in a package. Uh, but the good news is that there's absolutely ways to manage that. So there's ways that we can learn to kind of balance out the negatives. And there's specific things that we can do in a pandemic to do that. Um, and, and I don't know for those of you who have heard maybe the word resilience, but resilience just simply means adapting to difficult times. And we can be adaptable, our brains and we as humans adapt very well. And there's ways we can do that. So, of course, maintaining our health. So good sleep habits, eating healthy. For those working at home, maybe having a schedule, having routines that sort of makes us that kind of work-life balance in a way. Um, that's very helpful if there are children around, of course. Um, so that's huge. And if we think about the vaccine, well, that sort of has a little bit to do, and we'll talk a little bit more on that, about how to maintain our health, as well as the health of others. Um, the other thing that's important is um, stay connected. 